At any point do you lash out at your children? Great. Then, at that point, I'm in good company. I'm pondering inclination furious. I know that we shouldn't shout at our children, yet do you believe it's alright to say you're making me so distraught or I'm as yet frantic at you? If not, what difference would it make? I think legitimacy is unimaginably significant. Also, I consider not saying I'm distraught when I am or it I'm not to imagine. It resembles quieting myself and stifling my sentiments. That can't be a decent model for my children. Will it? Isn't feeling irate simply a human feeling that kids need to observe or to? Anticipating hearing your point of view on this. I'm a retell and this is the spot to be, to cherish nurturing and parent from adoration today. We're looking at dealing with our grown-up fits of rage, whether our outrage is legitimate and what to do about it. Here is my reasoning on this and I welcome you to watch my video about outrage. However fundamentally I imagine that outrage is something characteristic that we all will feel occasionally and contingent. Upon your disposition and how you were raised your body and your words will come out diversely when you're furious. What's more, it very well may be something that you've truly battled with like I do. I truly battle with an attitude and with responsive, furious feelings. Outrage is a characteristic inclination and you in all actuality do reserve the option to feel your sentiments. Your sentiments are legitimate. It is acceptable for you to be irate and pounding yourself about it or having a blameworthy outlook on it. Unquestionably won't help, however how about we separate between what you feel and how you act. Assuming we feel irate, that is all right and legitimized. Notwithstanding, showcasing our displeasure releasing it on another person, spewing anything we have inside us when we're furious on our youngsters not okay. The equivalent goes for youngsters also. Isn't that so? We need to show our kids that it's acceptable for them to be distraught or miserable or desirous, however it's not acceptable for them to hit or get or holler at somebody. The other thing to realize about sentiments is that we need to assume a sense of ownership with them. Others don't drive us mad and we don't lash out at others. We blow up inside ourselves. There was an outside trigger for it. Something invigorated our annoyance, however it's our own translation of that outside circumstance that drove us mad. Nonetheless, the way that we're feeling irate and that we lash out doesn't give us permit to fault or disgrace another person's way of behaving. You can contradict your youngster's way of behaving. You can believe that they need direction of results or a ton of educating around what they've done that it wasn't alright. Yet they are as yet not answerable for your close-to-home response. So no, we need to attempt to avoid let our kids know that they made us frantic or that we're distraught at them. We really want to begin getting a sense of ownership with our sentiments and saying I'm feeling exceptionally furious right presently is altogether different from saying you're driving me extremely mad. It could seem like simply a semantical contrast, however I believe it's entirely a fundamental distinction by the way we're treating the other individual. And what we're putting on them versus what we're putting on ourselves is a learning experience. What's more, is that second that we can venture into being the serene individual that we need to be. It's extremely kind with the yoga mat or in contemplation or when you're on a retreat. It's extremely hard and exceptionally significant when we can transcend and become serene. In a snapshot of being set off when our prefrontal cortex is really disconnected and our body is truly being driven by our reptilian minds by a receptive cerebrum, isn't that so? That is the point at which we need to transcend anger's desired second us to get truly clearly is the second that we get truly peaceful. It's in the protection from the oppression of outrage that we can develop into the serene individuals that we need to be. It's in limiting any association with the indignation and understanding that it's not consistent with say I am irate. It isn't so much that I am outrage. We don't permit it to become us. We truth be told separate from it and understand this is outrage attempting to control me. This is outrage attempting to give me a message. So could we permit ourselves to turn into the beneficiary of outrage's message, yet not the courier for outrage? At the end of the day, we permit outrage to address us, yet not really for us. When we permit outrage to address us, we tune in and we say for what reason did outrage drop by just at that point? What limits were being crossed? Everything story would I say I was saying to myself? How could I take into consideration myself to be treated such that I would rather not be dealt with? How could I slight myself and intruding over my own cutoff points and limits? 
that is tuning in for outrage and understanding and reaching significant inferences for what's to come. Have you at any point ended up in the tosses of outrage? Do you find dealing with your attitude a test? Assuming this is the case, I couldn't imagine anything better than to hear. There we should have a discussion around the job of outrage and nurturing and what it seems like for you. So assuming you end up in that exact second. You're so furious. You needed to hurt somebody, your kids likely, and you need to hurt them awful. You need to holler at them. You need to let them know how awful they are. You need to cause them torment. You need to release your resentment. What could you at any point do at that time? How might you quiet yourself down? How might you prevent yourself from delivering that toxin, that poison that regurgitation onto another person? Here are a few thoughts. The initial step is that we need to stop ourselves some way or another. What about you? Excuse yourself. You pull yourself back and you say, I really want a break or you say, I'm too disturbed at this moment. I really want to proceed to quiet down. Kindly proceed to play in the den until I'm quiet. I want a couple of moments to myself and we will discuss this later. This isn't your issue, yet I can't deal with this at the present time. I really want to quiet down. I'll see you soon. In the event that you have one more grown up at home or even a more seasoned youngster, you can ask them for help. You can say I truly need a break. Could you all play together? I want to go quiet down and attempt to hinder yourself. The manner in which you could if you had visitors over or on the other hand on the off chance that you were being on camera, or on the other hand assuming you were being watched by outsiders in the road, is this about stifling your feelings? Not by any stretch. It's tied in with paying attention to them, yet at the same not following up on that. You're permitted to feel furious. Recollect that you're not permitted to release harmfulness on others, correct? So do furthermore, I. I do it the entire time. So we should give ourselves empathy for that. In view obviously there is dependable fix and there's continuously saying sorry. Step number two is to trust that the feedings will pass. Furthermore, this is extremely hard. In the event that you are a tropical storm like me, Harville Hendricks discusses typhoons and tuttles. Typhoons when they're irate they explode huge and uproarious, and they clear everyone up around them. In that fit that that having right titles retreat to their shells and they close off and they disregard and stonewall and gaslight, and do a wide range of ways of behaving that prevent others from permitting any sort of commitment or entrance into their feelings. So assuming you are a flip, this is a decent stage for you. You need to withdraw from the displeasure and you need to endure it. Be that as it may, assuming you're a tropical storm, this is exceptionally difficult. Here we really don't follow up on our sentiments. We don't get out whatever we believe that it should say. Rather we stand by. Presently what could you at any point do during this hatching period? Indeed, you can communicate your outrage in sound way through craftsmanship, through John Ellinger, through dance. Let it out definitely only not on your youngsters hey, and not on yourself. In the event that you're left with your kids and you can't let them be on the grounds that they're pretty much nothing, then change up the air, go watch a film, go on a walk, get outside, go topsy-turvy. In a real sense adjusting point of view and changing climate will truly assist you with allowing your feelings to travel through you. Presently what you really should understand is that all feelings pos all feelings are transient. So the way that it seems like you need to follow up on it. Lastly you get to put yourself out there. Number 3 is express, express what was driving you crazy, however not tied in with saying I'm so furious and you made me frantic and it's your shortcoming. Furthermore, you're not alright, yet saying, you realize I flew off the handle when I witnessed this and this. Also, here's the reason, this is the thing I feel about it. It's tied in with drawing near and snuggling and feeling quiet and having somewhat of somewhat of a chuckle. It's tied in with holding your kid's integrity to light and saying, I know that you're a decent youngster. I realize that you know damage by this, yet this didn't feel very right to me. Could we at any point have a discussion about that? We should discuss it. This would likewise be an ideal opportunity to apologize on the grounds that presumably assuming you got truly set off and furious, you made a brutal face or you hurt your youngster, or you offered something that you do lament. And this is an ideal opportunity to get a sense of ownership with our conduct saying that wasn't totally fine. 
please accept my apologies for flying off the handle with you and hollering at you. Also, I don't really intend what I said. It was not okay what I said, and I will make a solid effort to train myself to quiet down when I'm furious and to consciously talk. A feeling of satisfaction when you've figured out how to explore what is going on that used to deceive you and today for reasons unknown, you figured out how to energize your assets and explore it calmly. That feeling of satisfaction is the root that is where we become actually the serene individuals. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumb up and share with your friend. Thank you for watching.